You are ignorant, disloyal, ungrateful And I'm going to call you a until you start acting like a woman. Suit, it really did open the floodgates, as you said, because it detailed almost two decades of hidden coercion. In the high stakes world of celebrity drama, Mary J. Blige finds herself entangled in a web of controversy, with shocking implications tied to her longtime friend and collaborator, Diddy. Recent developments have the tabloids buzzing as federal authorities have linked Mary to Diddy's alleged criminal activities, hinting at potential legal repercussions under RICO charges. It's a jaw-dropping twist for fans who followed their friendship for over three decades. You know, for the people that want to do it and, 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 and bring it and give it honestly, you have to have some kind of story, you know, to, you know, that's real. Reports suggest that Mary J. Blige, known for her powerhouse vocals and chart-topping hits, is now at the center of a storm, collaborating with authorities to navigate the legal storm clouds gathering around Diddy. The relationship between Mary and Diddy stretches back more than 30 years, seemingly built on trust and mutual respect. However, in light of recent events, Mary appears to be shifting gears, distancing herself from her once close companion. What exactly went down to prompt this turn of events? Mary J. Blige's cryptic Instagram post added fuel to the fire. In a move perceived as a direct swipe at Diddy, she proclaimed her readiness to burn bridges as needed signaling a newfound assertiveness and unwillingness to tolerate past transgressions. The post, shared shortly after federal agents raided Diddy's properties, ignited speculation about the depth of their relationship and the underlying tensions now coming to the fore. You know, I mean, look, it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me, but... Mm. The repercussions of this rift extend beyond personal relationships into the broader landscape of the music industry. Diddy faces mounting accusations and legal battles, with some of his high-profile alliances crumbling under the weight of controversy. Figures like Jay-Z and the Kardashians have distanced themselves from the embattled rapper, and now, with Mary J. Blige seemingly turning against him, the dynamics within this celebrity circle have taken a dramatic turn. Just last week, federal agents raided two homes of rapper and music mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs in Los Angeles and Miami. Combs is the subject of a federal investigation. The unfolding drama surrounding Mary J. Blige and Diddy promises to be one of the most captivating chapters in recent celebrity sagas. As the legal storm clouds gather and alliances shift, fans are left to wonder what's next for these once inseparable music icons. Stay tuned for the latest updates on this riveting Hollywood saga. Diving into the historical relationship between Mary J. Blige and Diddy reveals a narrative steeped in both camaraderie and conflict. Their friendship, which has spanned over three decades, has been punctuated by professional collaborations that have left an indelible mark on the music industry. What's up, MJV? What's up, Diddy? <laughs> I saw you. We were together last weekend. The roots of their bond trace back to the early 90s when Mary, a young talent plucked from Yonkers, was signed by Uptown Records under the mentorship of Andre Harold Diddy's own guide in the music business. It was during this period that Mary J. Blige emerged as a trailblazer in RB, with Diddy assuming a pivotal role in shaping her artistic journey. Mary's one of my first artists. You know, so, like she kind of put me on, I put her on. We taught each other a lot. We grew and kind of blew up. Speaking of their connection, Diddy has emphasized Mary's impact, dubbing her one of the greatest storytellers in RB history, attributing to her the creation of a platform for women worldwide to speak their truths. However, their relationship was not without its rough patches. In the late 90s to early 2000s, a significant falling out occurred, leading to a prolonged period of estrangement. Mary later attributed this rift to her personal struggles, acknowledging that her own battle with substance abuse had strained their professional ties. I started writing songs that I want, where I wanted things to happen because I was already angry. And then I turned it over and said, you know what? Now it's time to start writing what I want. In a candid moment, she reflected on this tumultuous period, conceding that she had failed to grasp the demands of the music industry, causing her to spiral into a state of disarray. Mary's personal turmoil and Diddy's burgeoning empire, comprising notable talents like Biggie Smalls and other ventures, led to a distancing between the two icons. Mary's admission of responsibility for the rift underscores the complexity of their bond, navigating the delicate balance between friendship and the demands of an unforgiving industry. That fancy dog collar that Puff got around your neck and his head around your neck for the past 30 years, it should have been done got tight. It don't feel like a noose, Mary. Despite the turmoil, forgiveness eventually paved the way for reconciliation. Mary's rehabilitation and renewed commitment to her craft marked a turning point, heralding a return to her creative zenith and rekindling her bond with Diddy. Their reconciliation appeared to reaffirm their enduring connection, with Mary publicly acknowledging Diddy's unwavering support as instrumental to her personal growth. Cause Puff was in control. P. Diddy, Honeycomb, was in control. Mary J. Blige has turned her back on almost everybody that's ever cared about her. Fast forward to the present day, the timing of Mary's perceived distancing from Diddy amid his legal tribulations raises intriguing questions. 
As federal investigations encroach upon Diddy's empire, Mary's recent social media post, hinting at a readiness to burn bridges as needed, suggests a calculated move to safeguard her reputation and legal standing. The fallout from federal actions, including the raid on Diddy's properties and mounting accusations, has cast a shadow over their decades-long alliance. Mary's strategic maneuvering amidst these developments underscores the high stakes inherent in the world of celebrity alliances. With federal authorities scrutinizing Diddy's activities under RICO charges, Mary's recalibration of her public image points to a calculated bid for self-preservation. As the legal storm clouds gather around Sean Diddy Combs, it's becoming increasingly evident that his once untouchable empire is facing a barrage of legal challenges. The high-profile lawsuits against Diddy paint a grim picture of alleged misconduct, creating a perfect storm of controversy. Take the case of Rodney Jones Jr., whose federal complaint accuses Diddy of orchestrating an illegal enterprise involving substances, firearms, and exploitation of minors and sex workers. This lawsuit, filed in Manhattan's federal court, remains ongoing with Jones's legal team asserting harassment tactics from Diddy's camp, including alleged intimidation of Jones's family. You're disrespectful to women. For real, for real, you're probably the Jeffrey Epstein of hip hop. Another distressing case is that of Jane Doe, who courageously came forward with allegations of being subjected to sex trafficking by Diddy and his associates when she was underage. Her federal lawsuit, filed in late 2023, has triggered a contentious legal battle. Diddy's defense has vehemently denied the allegations, framing them as part of a broader cancel culture assault on his reputation. The court's decision regarding Doe's anonymity underscores the sensitivity and complexity of this legal saga. Mm -hmm. I'm a fight for my reputation. I'm a fight for the honorable man I am, the righteous king that I am. I'm not perfect. Cassandra Cassie Ventura's lawsuit further adds to the mounting legal pressure on Diddy. Her federal complaint, alleging sexual assault, battery, and sex trafficking, was settled and dismissed shortly after its filing in 2023. While the lawsuit's resolution may suggest closure for Cassie, it raises questions about the nature of their relationship and its impact on Diddy's public image. He controlled every aspect of her life. He is accused of frequently beating her and would hide her in hotel rooms for days until the bruising and signs of abuse were gone. Liza Gardner's harrowing account of being allegedly forced into sexual encounters by Diddy and Aaron Hall underscores the disturbing pattern emerging from these lawsuits. Gardner's ongoing lawsuit, filed under New York's Adult Survivors Act, represents yet another legal battle that Diddy must confront. His representatives continue to refute the claims, dismissing them as baseless and motivated by financial gain. Most recently, Diddy's son Christian King Combs faced allegations of sexual assault, battery, and emotional distress in a lawsuit filed by Grace O. Arcot. The lawsuit, which names Diddy as responsible for fostering an environment of debauchery, brings further scrutiny to Diddy's role as a father and guardian of his son. The mounting legal challenges and the severity of allegations present a stark contrast to Diddy's public persona as a music mogul. While Diddy and his legal team continue to vehemently deny the accusations, the sheer volume and variety of lawsuits paint a troubling picture that's hard to ignore. Each case represents a chapter in a broader narrative of reckoning within the entertainment industry. Ever I want, I get! As the legal dramas unfold, Diddy's empire appears increasingly vulnerable, with key alliances like Mary J. Blige shifting in response to mounting scrutiny. The repercussions of these lawsuits extend far beyond the courtroom, shaping the trajectory of Diddy's legacy and the broader landscape of celebrity culture. Amid the tumult, questions linger about the future of these once inseparable music icons and the enduring impact of their turbulent history. With federal investigations encroaching further upon Sean Diddy Combs' world, the severity of the situation has escalated to new heights. A former federal prosecutor, Nadia Shahada, sheds light on the gravity of the matter, hinting at the potential direction of the full case. In her words, they have now conducted two public search warrants of two homes. That's a significant step in any investigation. This revelation underscores the magnitude of the legal storm gathering around Diddy, suggesting a shift from mere allegations to concrete action by authorities. That clearly there is a criminal investigation underway and that they believe that there would be evidence of crimes in one or both of these homes. Shihada's comparison to her experience prosecuting R. Kelly under RICO sex trafficking charges adds weight to the speculation surrounding Diddy's legal jeopardy. The use of RICO statutes implies a broader and more complex legal framework, potentially extending the statute of limitations for alleged crimes. This nuanced legal maneuvering could have profound implications for the outcome of the investigation. His youngest daughter on Easter presents a stark contrast to the intense scrutiny he currently faces. Shihada's insights suggest that behind this facade lies a legal maelstrom, as evidenced by the raids on his Miami and Los Angeles properties. As the legal storm gathers intensity, one thing remains certain Diddy's once untouchable empire is now in the crosshairs of federal authorities, with Mary J. Blige's strategic distancing underscoring the gravity of the situation. The impending grand jury decision will undoubtedly be a pivotal moment in this unfolding celebrity saga. 
potentially marking a definitive chapter in Diddy's legacy. But what's your take on this riveting saga? Do you think Mary's distancing from Diddy is purely strategic, or is there more to this story? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let us know what you think about the future of these once inseparable music icons amidst the mounting legal battles. Until next time.